what's going on with people driving around with these yellow protectors? Now, on the wide body Hellcat, you get a, a huge one, but for the regular challenges that aren't a wide body, they get like one in the corner here, one on the other corner. I mean, come on guys. Honestly, if you're gonna keep it on there, if it was me and you're worried about protection, at a minimum, rip it off, spray paint it black. This way it blends in with the rest of the vehicle. Don't leave it on there. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your car. I mean, I pers personally wouldn't ever leave it on there. Now, I've left it on this long and it's been killing me. I cannot wait to remove this thing. It's been killing me. But the only reason why I left it on here this long was because I wanted to point that out on video to you guys. I don't know what's going on with people leaving that on, but like I said, you always have the option of painting it a different color, maybe black or something like that. At the end of the day, it's your car. I personally don't like the way it looks at all. I've seen some beautiful Chargers and Challengers, and uh, I feel like that's just killing the look. And same thing applies to my wide body Hellcat. I feel like my wide body Hellcat looks awesome. And this big yellow thing right here is seriously just killing the look of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that right now. And since there's so many people who love this, who knows, maybe since mine's like extra big, that's what she said, um, I could actually uh, sell this on eBay for you know a lot of money, who knows? But anyway, I'm gonna rip this off because it's driving me crazy. Good morning guys, welcome to the channel. So after putting on a few miles, I've put on, probably have around 200 miles on the Hellcat so far. The one thing that I can't deal with is a stock exhaust. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna address that issue today. Um, I just called up a local exhaust shop. They said, just run over here real quick. I'm gonna try and get there. I'm a little short on time. Hopefully there's not too much traffic. The one annoying thing of having the Hellcat in the garage is now I gotta get these cars out of the way. So let's get to it. traffic this morning definitely loving the Apple CarPlay in this Challenger it's another thing that my uh, last Challenger didn't have if you guys are uh, new to the channel I used to have the 2012 SRT Challenger with the 392 cam if you go back in my previous videos you'll probably have to scroll back a few pages you'll you'll see it which was from a few years ago that Challenger sounded amazing I'm actually going to the same shop that did my exhaust system on my last Challenger like three or four times. It's been a little while since I've been to that shop. Okay guys, I'm over here at American Muffler Shop in Westbury. These are the same guys that did all the exhaust modifications on my last Jeep. So if you guys are anywhere in the New York area, need to have work done, go ahead and check them out. On my Jeep, the first modification that I did, the second I got it was go get the windows tinted. On a Hellcat, I think mid for delete is like a must do. At a minimum, do that. I know some of the people, I've been doing, I did a lot of reading on the forums. A lot of people were kind of going back and forth between the Dynamax bullets and a Vibrant. Another one was like a Vibrant, which is a little bit quieter, but knowing me and knowing like most of my other cars that I like them really nice and loud and aggressive, I definitely went with the mid for delete. I didn't want to waste time going for like a quieter solution. So let's see how it turns out. I'm real curious. Okay guys, let's start it up, see what it sounds like after the mid muffler delete. Got my right key. For you guys that are new to the channel, make sure you definitely subscribe. Guys, I modify all my cars usually a lot and there's a lot more to come for this wide body Hellcat. I'm talking about appearance mods, I'm talking about performance modifications, going to the track, getting together with other uh, Mopar owners. It's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. 
So hit the subscribe, sign up for the notifications by clicking on the little bell. Give this video a thumbs up, and I hope you guys all have a great day.